Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Split Mod. It's been a few days since we've been back in here, and we're even on a new island this time. I think for one of the first times in the entirety of this Let's Play, we're not on the main base island. There's actually a reason for that. I have actually been in a little bit of my off-camera time, completing as many of these pictures as I can. Uh, some of them I haven't found yet because I'm quite convinced that they're like the super rare mobs and whatnot. Like, I'm pretty sure that up here is Dr. Bones, and I'm quite certain that... I don't really know what that is, to be honest with you. I don't know what this is either. The only thing that I can think of from the Hallow is probably like a rainbow slime or something. Blood Moon, maybe a clown. I don't think I took a picture of one of those yet, but yeah. I've been over here making sure that I take as many pictures as I can, getting Camilla whatever she needs. Um, I remember from the trailer I was able to uh, post the stuff on the wall at one point, but I haven't been able to do that just yet, but we'll, I guess we'll figure that out at some point. Anyways... How's everybody doing? We're back here on the main island again. We've got Ganoshi, our buddy here, our morally gray uh, potential antagonist, possibly protagonist, possibly. What is this? What's happening right now? What? Oh, it must be a full moon. I completely and totally forgot that it did that. Uh, yeah, that's another thing that I did off camera. I got myself the, uh, the celestial globe because I went and decided to be melee. Uh, let me just put some auto pause on here because there's gonna be a lot going on here and I'd actually prefer it to be nighttime for the next stuff that I wanna do. Uh, I got the Celestial Globe. It's basically that combination of the Celestial Shell and the Nidosphere, which, you know, is the other one that you can make in addition to the Starbound Casket, which I still have. I actually decided to go full melee. That's why I've got it on because I got blessed for all of the pieces of defense for the beetle set. Um, I didn't even mean for that to happen. I just kept getting blessed after blessed after blessed. It appears as though Vulcan prefers me much more than the goblin does. He's not a fan. But Vulcan, he's shelling out that good stuff left and right, giving me that elusive, giving me those defense increasing things. Then I got this right here, you know, of course. 125 defense, and that's with only like, I think, two of all my accessories set to warding. So if I max that, it probably would be absolutely ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this is more defense than you'd get from just the standard solar armor. That's why I'm not using the possessed set, because, I mean, basically, half the defense that I would normally have, it's 63 defense right there with all the effects of my accessories and everything going on as opposed to 125 it's kind of hard to pass that up with that level of defense i can just throw in a whole bunch of menacing and violent and all that good stuff make my yo-yos and rackets even more powerful hard to pass up on all that good stuff but anyway another thing that i wanted to talk about very briefly as i get sidetracked by all the exploding purple stuff is the pictures the things that i get from them i got another bangle a perfidious 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 bangle. Increases damage done to enemies inflicted with venom. And with that, I think that's all the bangles that I can get because I think that covers every debuff. Got the malicious one for Icorn Curse. Blazing for burning. Got the frozen one for frost burn. And now I got one for venom. So I wonder if I can apply multiple debuffs at once and then just stack up all these bangles and do crazy amounts of damage. I haven't tried it because I just got that just today doing some off-camera stuff. That's pretty cool. But in addition to that, I got this thing called a conductor from one of the prime envelopes. Creates a thundercloud over your head, and it does exactly what it says. There it is. Look at that. Thundercloud over my head. Looks fantastic. There is a lot of really cool vanity stuff that I'm super happy can stack together. Because, you know, why wouldn't you want to have all that stuff going on at the same time? Anywho, we've got some more things on the agenda today. We are almost done with this mod. There is not much left. All we've got left is the Martians, Duke Fishron, Seth, who is the final mod boss, Lunatic Cultist, Lunar Event, and the Moon Lord. We are on the home stretch, I believe. And I'm not sure if I want to try to cram Seth into everything today. Um, I know for sure that I'm going to be doing Duke Fishron. I got my potions and truffle worms already ready to go. And this new uh, fishing rod that we got right here, Damned Catcher, made out of the mechanics rod and the molten hook. Shoots lasers at nearby enemies. Um, I also do the same thing whenever I'm fishing personally in real life, so, I mean, it's it's nice to be represented accurately in Terraria now. Anyway, let's run on over here to the ocean and take down Duke Fishron, or fight the Martian event, depending on which one we come across first. I'm kind of hoping we get the Martians out of the way first, because there's lots of good stuff from that I'd love to get. Um, a lot of my weapons are really powerful, but I don't know how well they'll stack up against Seth, because I heard that he was incredibly difficult. And I tried my very best to avoid spoilers. Um, I definitely saw the one-shot mechanic in the trailer. I know that anywhere, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, I love those. Um, but other than that, I really don't know much else about him. I just know that he's really big, fiery, flaming boy, and he's got a special phase, I'm fairly certain. 
So that's gonna be exciting. We'll find all that good stuff out in the future when we finally get there. For right now, we're gonna run over to the ocean. All right, here we go. We're over here at the ocean. We've got our potions and everything ready to go. No reason to hold out. Let's just jump right into melting Duke Fishron's face. There we go. Buff up. And we'll take him down really quickly. There goes his health. He just doesn't even exist. What is this guy, a mini boss? Barely even feel that thanks to the immense amount of defense that I've got. Yeah, you just stand there and you hover. A part of me almost expected him to regenerate back to full health. Thank you, Fargo. Still triggered from that. Just gotta let you know. Appreciate that. And there we go, going back into his third phase. And before he even got a chance to, we've taken him down. Goodbye, Nuke Fishron, yet again. And we got some souls from him. Or it's not souls, essences. I keep wanting to call these souls for some reason. We've got elements of water, usurped by Duke Fishron, mutant terror of the sea. I can make the Tome of Patromancy once I get the Elements of Fire from Seth, the Monsoon, which is also made of the Elements of Fire and Rocket Launcher, and the Precipitation, which is made out of the Aerial Bane, Tsunami, and Elements of Water. Shoots arrows that explode into waves of more arrows. That sounds like it could be a reason to go back to Ranger, but I did not get anything that I need out of that at all whatsoever. Uh, cool. Let's just keep fighting them. Get as many souls as we can. Not souls, I said it again, didn't I? I didn't even mean to do that. Um, get as many of the essences as we can, and then, well, I guess I can't really craft anything out of it. Um, oh well. We'll kill him just to kill him. Get all the stuff from him, and then hopefully things go really well. I bet the tsunami with the diligence potions will be absolutely ridiculous. Throw on some holy arrows with that thing. Oh yeah. Then we can begin the long and arduous process of trying to find a Martian probe. I am up in the sky. Unfortunately, the only area up in the sky that I can be is surrounded by NPCs, which is gonna knock the spawn rate down into non-existence. Oh well. We'll figure that out when we get there. How many of these do I even need before I waste my time over here? I only need three of them exactly. I got the fish run mask. Hey, a mortar crab. Where were you when I needed you five million years ago? Anyway, murdering Duke Fishface. Now we'll move on from there. So as you can see, um, I don't know if you could tell, but there is a little bit of a trend in Duke Fishron's drops today. I love bubble guns. They're my favorite. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get what I was looking for, unfortunately. No Fishron wings, no Tsunami, no Flareon, none of that stuff, or Flareon, or whatever the thing is called. Uh, plenty of these, though, so I think, you know, I think it wants me to use the bubble gun for the next boss here. I don't know. Whatever. We took him down, nonetheless, so we're ready to move on to the next thing. I'm not gonna sit there and farm it forever. And I suppose now we're gonna go looking out for a Martian probe, because I definitely want to take those down before I even think about taking down Seth. Don't know if there will be any good stuff and if I need any particular kind of arena. I, I mean, I probably should. You'd think I'd have learned my lessons from not having proper arenas to fight bosses, but you know what, whatever. I'm, I'm a risk taker like that. I like to live on the edge, live on the wild side, be a little crazy. So I think I'm gonna go looking for a probe. I don't know how much luck I'm gonna find in the daytime. Might actually have to wait. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna look for a probe, and then I will just take down the Martians and see if there's anything new with that stuff. So whenever I've found one, I'm ready to fight the aliens. I'll see you then. Alrighty, there we go. The Martians are invading. As you can see in the background, we've got some lovely UFOs just kind of hovering around back there. Cloudy with a chance of Xeno Apocalypse. Kenoshi is left. I guess that means they're up on my base murdering things. And there's the saucer already. You gotta love that. I might as well buff up for this. This is gonna be a fun time. Oh yeah, let's do it. Might as well buff up for it. Take them down quick, fast, and easy. At least I hope I can anyway. That'd be pretty nice. I might as well switch this out because it ain't nighttime anymore. Put on something a little bit better for right now in this certain circumstance. Now comes the moment of truth. Do I run away and hide or do I actually, you know, attempt to fight this guy for real? I think I'm gonna attempt to fight him for real because I can outrun him. That's the only way to deal with this guy. You gotta be able to outrun him. Ah, don't get me. I'm still trying to get away from you. Come on, there we go, he's dead. What'd he give me? I got the, the what? Blaster cannon. It's not a material for anything. Really the only things that I care about are the UFOs. So as long as those things keep on coming, won't have any problems. Here we go, we're mowing right through these guys right now. I am almost indestructible. There's another one, time to take it down. Oh yeah, you missed, ha! And you still missed. Look at this guy up here trying to hit me with his laser beams. You don't even have any missiles to shoot. Ah, I dodged that, so technically it doesn't count. And I got hit by something else that time, so that doesn't count either. I can live without the knockback, though. That's kind of ruining my day a little bit. Love you, dodge. Oh my god, two times in a row. Could not do that again if it tried to. There we go. It's like I'm immune to lasers right now. For once, RNG is being my friend. There we go, the third one already. Bring it on. Time to take him down. I almost wonder if the yo-yo would be better suited for this thing. I mean, it's a little bit slower than most of the flying bosses, so I might actually be able to hit it. I don't know, the uh, terror racket is doing some good work here, so maybe it wouldn't be such a bad thing. 
Change direction again. Change direction again. Back and forth. Serpentine, serpentine. That's how we do it. Ah, no, none of that. Oh, wait, it's 1.3. What am I worried about? Thing can't go through solid blocks anyway. You're weak in this version. You metallic loot box. And there we go. That's the end of it. The Martians have been defeated. Got a whole bunch of stuff from that. Hopefully I got a lot of good stuff. I did not see any cosmic car keys or anything, but that's all right. I didn't really plan on using those to fight Seth or the Moon Lord or anything anyway. So anyway, let's take a look at what all it gave me. Looks like uh, not a whole lot of great stuff. Got the Xeno Staff, so if I want to use any summons or anything like that, got those things. Plus, I think I got the uh, Staff from Duke Fishron anyway. Let's head back up here real quick. Lots of healing potions, uniform, laser drill, very nice. Blaster cannon, knew about that already. Electrosphere launchers and Xeno poppers, very nice. Lots and lots of range stuff, nothing melee. So hopefully uh, what I've got right now will work for Seth. Because I do believe if there is nothing else, that is going to be what I fight next. I'm going to be fighting that guy. Uh, it doesn't really say in particular that it needs to be nighttime or anything. I can fight him at any time. So preferably nighttime would be the best so I can get the maximum amount of value out of the Celestial Globe. Um, I do not know how long it's going to take me to fight. So maybe I should wait for a fresh night. I'm not sure. It's 11 p.m. It's basically a fresh night. Now, where did I put that vessel? I know I bought a second one because I had to go down there to look at it for lore stuff. We're just marking favorite. It's about time. There we go. Got Pandora's Cup. Oh, I actually have to do it at night. Okay. Well, great. Uh, it's already nighttime. Well, I suppose there's no reason to dilly-dally around. Uh, nothing new's happening right now. So I guess I'll just bring him out here and give him a try. See how it goes. Got a big enough arena over here, I think. Should be plenty. Okay. Well, here we go. Bring it on, Seth. Here we go. There we go. Oh, my. Okay, so somebody's seen Novaniel's boss fight. I think he's a fan of Shadows of Abaddon. This is a slight bit more intense than that is. Oh, my God. That theme, though. That theme. Ah, God. Okay. I really have no idea what's going on right now. It's kind of hard to keep track of all this stuff. Kind of learning a little bit. He's turning red. Oh. Oh, this is the insta-kill. Okay. That's fun. That's all kinds of fun. Uh, yeah. That is definitely a very intense boss fight. Oh my god. I, I really love that. Even though he absolutely obliterated me. I love that. I really do. Um, I'm gonna need more potions for this, I feel. This is gonna take me a minute. So you know what? Let's just keep at it. See how it goes. I'll get it eventually. Mark my words, I'll get it eventually. Oh wow, that's a new attack. There we go. Oh god. Oh, and he obliterated me again. That thing is really hard to see, I gotta be honest with you. I do not know how exactly to get around that. Ah, I thought I almost had it there for a second. Very close. Very, very close. That's going to be the only thing that's a problem for me for this entire boss fight, because I am taking so little damage from everything else. So here's a little bit of an issue I thought I would discuss mid-boss fight. As you can see, I'm just kind of sitting right on top of them. Uh, all the rest of the abilities are just kind of doing their own thing. You know, here we are at this ability again. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but I wasn't able to fly there. Um, anyway, but yeah, there's a little bit of an issue that I've noticed. Things are a little bit busted with that vampified scroll and the terror racket. Um, as it turns out, with such a high level of defense, as well as damage reduction from potions and the beetle set bonus, uh, it turns out that this guy could not kill me with anything other than the heat snap or whatever that thing is called. I think that's what it's called. Literally. I could just stand right here the entire time. The only ability that he could possibly use to kill me is Heat Snap. I had the exact same situation with the Insurgent. Uh, he is completely and totally unable to kill me as well. Also, that has a very wide range. Anyway, thought I would throw that in there a little bit. Uh, that item might be uh, in need of a little bit of a nerf. Man, every single time I think I see a pattern, I swear to God, it changes up on me again. Like, I keep looking at that ability, trying to figure, okay, so if they go up the first time, are they going to go down the second time? Are they going to go up again? Like, it seems like they're completely and totally random what direction it goes. You just kind of have to have a really quick reaction time and just hope to God you're not standing in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Seems to be the only way to get through it. There we go, oh my god. Finally made it past that second half there. Man, 
Okay, now the abilities are definitely getting a lot more powerful, a lot more dangerous. Uh, I'm waiting for that thing to come back again, though. I'm sure it's going to make a return. I would be shocked if it only did it once. Probably for the last, like, quarter of his health, he's going to have that. He's, like, right on top of me as well. There we go. Get a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Oh, crap. Here we go again. And just like that, it's over again. Like I said, the only ability that he could ever kill me with. It's weird being on this side of the cheese. Oh, God, again already? My God, he just turned over again. It's like completely and totally at random. Ah! Okay, now please don't do it again. Can I take you down before it turns to daytime? Pretty sure it's like 3 o'clock, and there he goes. Sheep. Okay, so it looks like his attacks pretty much are completely random. I feel like I would have had him that time if he wouldn't have ran away. Oh well, I guess we'll wait for another night time again. I swear the majority of this video is just me trying to kill this guy. Pretty sure I took down Duke Fishron and the Martians faster than I beat this guy. It's gonna be like five minutes of Duke Fishron and the Martians and then like 20 minutes of death montage and then talking about Seth's loot for five seconds and then bye bye see you next time. Oh my god, there we go. I've got past the second one. I think I might actually be able to take this guy down finally. He's just gotta not do it again and he's gonna do it again. Of course he is. Please, dear god, and there it goes. Man, I love that so much. Get myself super excited just to get the old slap in the face right there. Tastes good every time. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of sort of controlled based on the direction that your character's moving. Sort of like some of the mutant's abilities were whenever I was fighting him. If that's the way that it works, then I think I might have it. I just have to give it another try. If I can just kind of keep myself kind of hovering a little bit. I know he's going to do it again. He ain't going to let me off that easy. There ain't no way. Or maybe not. Oh my god, no, wait a minute. He's going to make it easy for me that time. Okay. There we go. Well, would you look at that? That was Seth. You know what? In, in all the frustration that I had from his insta-kill ability, I gotta say, amazing theme. It looks like it was a very well-coded boss, very well-sprited. I mean, it looks like everything that went into that boss took a lot of work, despite the frustration that he caused me. I love it. I think that was a lot of fun. I don't think I ever really figured out the, uh, the gimmick for his insta-kill, but I'm fairly certain it's direction-based, that it kind of like the split second of how you're moving, that's how it decides which way it's gonna spin. So anyway, let's take a look and see what we got from this guy. So we got the Seth trophy. I I'd like to believe that's a very well-earned trophy. We'll put that right there, right above the Shovel Knight stuff. Uh, Strangest Brew, 250 life and 400 mana. That makes it better than the Greater Healing Potion, so we're definitely gonna be grabbing as much of this stuff as I can. Olympic Torch summons the ultimate challenger, defeat Seth flawlessly and get the champion's treasures, can only be used at night. And I am 100% sure that that is never gonna happen. And then we got the Elements of Fire. Finally, we can grab all this good stuff. Killer Wand, Magic Weapon. What is the Killer Wand? Bubble Wand. I actually have to get one of those things. Interesting. Burn My Dread, which is, I think, an upgrade for this stuff, it looks like. And the Monsoon, which we knew we could already get there. So that's pretty nice. There's some melee weapon there. We'll grab that. I don't know if I have an Element of Death anymore, though. We're gonna find out. And what about from the Treasure Bag? What we get? Ring of the Sun. It's not his expert drop. What is his expert drop? Oh, there it is, the champion's crown, which I can use to make the sunset tiara in combination with the blazing scope. Enemies explode on critical hit, greatly increases all critical damage, but slightly decreases non-critical damage. Lots of gold from that. And we got the solstice. We got his sword. Oh, yes. Oh, my. That is awesome. What is the range on this thing? This, this gives me, like, zenith flashbacks right here. Absolutely incredible. And then, of course, we got the sun ring. Make the scarlet sun charm. And then I can finally craft the seventh element. So we'll throw all this stuff in there. There's the Scarlet Sun Charm and the Seventh Element. Grab that. And the Sunset Tiara. Excellent. I love how the mod always likes to combine the expert items as well. So if you play on expert mode, you get even more amazing stuff the whole way through. I love that. Huh. Welking. What's that? An upgrade for the Hermes. Did I never make this weapon? I swear I made it before. Interesting. Right click to dash. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Um... Huh. Guess I never made this weapon. I swear I did, though. That's pretty cool. Looks like the only thing I'm missing from the, uh, Burn My Dread is the Element of Death. And it's still daytime, so I'm not able to fight Skeletron right now. He would absolutely obliterate me, so I'm not even gonna try that. Um, I don't know if I want to use the Seventh Element. It looks like an incredible ability. I think I'm okay with damage. If I have that much trouble with the Moon Lord and with the Lunatic Cultist, then I'll throw it on there, but whatever. I can make the Tome of Patromancy. I mean, that's- that's pretty cool right there. Look at that. Oh, I got a bad one as well. Annoying. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's like rainbow fire. And it eats my mana like crazy, so that's good. I can make the monsoon. 
I'm assuming I'm probably gonna need some rockets for that. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's go down there and grab some of those, I suppose. Wonder how many times I did die to this guy. It was at 139 before. Oh. Oh my. Oh, do I not have an arms dealer either? It appears as though he has obliterated those guys as well. Delightful. Okay. Well, I suppose I could go around and check the NPCs and see if they have anything special to say now. Since I've defeated Seth. Anything fancy? Nothing fancy to say? Nothing fancy to sell? You've got all the same old, same old stuff? Maybe Vulcan has something different to say. We could go take a trip down there. What was that? The Commando. Zaphod. Is that a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Wasn't there a character in that book named Zaphod? He's got a quest over his head as well. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry. That's the voice I've decided for him as well. There are so many wholesome people in your world, and all these meetings, parties, games, and you're always so cheerful, so naive. On my home planet, you could only dream of such a peaceful life. I just wanted to be part of your big family. I mean, you could have just asked. You wouldn't be the weirdest guy to ever walk through my doors. You didn't have to put on a skin suit for that, man. Okay, well, I appreciate your enthusiasm, though. You're definitely welcome here. What do you got to sell? Extraterrestrial Rod summons a moon saucer sentry that shoots enemies with deadly lasers. Man of Glass? I don't know what that's a reference to, but I feel like it is definitely a reference to something. It's a painting. I do not know what that is a reference to, but I, I recognize it from something. If a robot repairs another robot, would you rather call it a mechanic or a doctor? Oh, hi there. Sorry, I've been thinking. Hmm, I'm glad you do that. It's really bad, isn't it? It's cringy. Anyway, I saw Ganoshi spawned in. Uh, <laughs> let's go see what he's got to say. Anything else special to say about him? Nope. Anything to sell? Looks like the same old, same old. Summon a little UFO down here. That is really cool. I like that. That looks awesome. Well, I would say I'd go back and fight Seth again. I suppose I could give it a trial run, see if I can kill him a second time, get something else from him. Fight him with the Solstice, see if that kills him a little bit faster. If I do die, though, I'm not gonna sit here and try it over and over and over again to get everything. I'll worry about that stuff off camera. But anyway, there we go, look at that. We're just absolutely melting right through him with this thing. And there we go, got one shot at again. Still managed to do that anyway. Ah, yes. What a great way to finish it off. Well, anyhow, with that, I think I am going to be calling it an episode here, guys, because the recording itself has been going on for a very long time, definitely thanks to that Seth fight. With him out of the way, I think we are finally ready to go on the home stretch. That'll be in the next episode, the next and the last, because it appears there is no post-Moon Lord content for the split mod. It's just going to be the same old good vanilla Terraria stuff with a few things sprinkled around everywhere just to kind of spice it up a little bit. But yeah, I think I'm going to be calling an episode here, guys. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.